Yeah. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Hi. How are you? Hey, Rod, I still have the <laughs> bat you gave me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. What issues matter most to you guys right now? So, Dr. Biden and uh, Vice President, if you allow me, oh, just good enough, man. Come on. Yeah, and Jill. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're thrilled and we're excited to vote. I think our voice has never been more important. We want to come together as a team to defeat COVID and to rebuild this U.S. economy that needs us all so much. For me, it's unifying the nation again. Yeah. You know, getting rid of this hate. Thinking about my kids walking around in a world where you know, it's okay to be racist or prejudiced because our, our administration says it's okay. You know, that, that to me is really sad because it's not the country I believe that I grew up in. The Latinos have been one of the hardest oh. communities by COVID. What, what's the plan to contain the virus and, and get our communities back to work again and to bring us together again? There's a lot we can do. I know you know this, Jennifer. A Latino is three times more likely to be infected by the oh. COVID virus than a white person. Three million unemployed, 200,000 dreamers are on the front lines of essential workers risking their lives right now. That's not an exaggeration, that's a fact. And one in three Latino small businesses are gone. And so we're sitting here right now when the president just said he's not gonna negotiate anymore, the House passed an incredibly generous bill, $2 trillion, to provide for making sure that small businesses can stay open. They can have the money for the PPE, the mask. They can put in plexiglass. They can sanitize. They can do all these things. And he, he's not doing anything. In addition to that, schools are still closed, especially in Latino communities. And you go down the line, but there's so much we can do. I just saw uh, a few months ago where Coach K from Duke uh, had mentioned, look, this is not about, you know, red or blue or Republican or Democrat. This is about humanity. And how do we take care of people that are in most need? It's about leadership. You know, I've been saying this for a long time. I'm going to run as a proud Democrat, but I'm not a Democratic president. I am an American president. My kind of hope and quest for the Latino communities that they start understanding their power. They understand yeah, exactly what they mean right. to this country, that their vote counts. But I hope you realize your power. For the last couple of months, I've been having charlas with um, so many Latino women. And I tell them, I said, you know, if I have the honor of being the next first lady, Latino women will have a seat at the table. And in the cabinet. You know, real, your it's real. power, your voices, and how much they'll make a difference. You know, I'm here representing women and moms and, and Latinos uh -huh. and Americans, but, you know, I have a question about the Latino community. You know, we have such deeply held values, uh, including, you know, family and faith. And I'd like to know... How have these values guided your life, especially in public service, and how much does that play a factor for you? Well, they've been, they've been my whole life, both of our lives, not a joke. I mean, the reason why I think I've gotten such overwhelming support in my community is that I'm a practicing Catholic. Most of my Latino friends are Catholics, and it's all about family. I mean, it really is. It's all about family. And so, you know, I know- too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, faith sometimes is the only thing you have. What's what we're, what we're hanging on to right now. I think about, you know, those young Latinos out there, African-Americans, uh, all of us, all of them that need help, that they get the support that they need. Um, I, I just want our three little girls to know that one day uh, they could be CEO. They could go for number one and they could, they be, could the be president president of the United States of America. This is about letting people know that there's nothing beyond our capacity. I mean, there really isn't. And so there's so much we can do. I really, really believe it. We need to restore the American dream. Oh. So if you allow me maybe 15 seconds to say something in Spanish to my fellow people in Florida. Okay. Sure. Uh, bueno, eh, mi gente, es, eh, Jennifer, yo estamos muy eh, feliz de ir al baleto y votar para la para este año que es muy importante que la comunidad de nosotros necesita la ayuda más ahora que siempre. Muchas gracias y por favor, vayan a los baletos y voten este año. 
Gracias. Más que nunca, más que nunca importa y tú tienes el poder, tú tienes el poder. La, el, la comunidad latino va a determinar lo que va a pasar en esta elección. Tú tienes ese poder. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I'm Thank looking you. forward to seeing you both. Be safe. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank, Thank you. you. Likewise. Thank God bless. Thanks. They're a great couple.